Hi everyone, welcome back to another edition of Couch Cruisers. In this video, I'm going to be looking at a generic plan for my first year of cruising. My objective with this video was to actually put pins in a map to better understand the route that I intend to take. For my first year, I plan to cruise the Caribbean from Miami to Panama. I plan to start with the Caribbean because the vast majority of sailing is day trips. It's easily possible to get from Miami to Panama with less than five overnight sail days. Here's an overview of the entire route that's planned. The background of the rest of this video is a Google Earth tour of the route. The tour is from 60 miles above the surface. This is video one of my route planning series. This series is going to be a multi-part series divided by year to keep the videos a little bit shorter. For me, World Series has always been a fairly, fairly nebulous goal. The where and when of world cruising was never qu quite clear to me. It was always kind of a generic idea. This video series is going to fix that for me. Hopefully you as well. I picked the Caribbean as the starting location as it has amazing cruising grounds without requiring multi-day passages. This will allow me the time to gain the skills I need as well as fine-tune any boat issues I have while out living the cruising life. In planning to cruise the Caribbean, the first thing to take into consideration is hurricane season. Hurricane season in the Caribbean is from June through November. That means the cruising season is November to July. By July, you want to either be back in the U.S. or below the hurricane belt. To, below, to be below the hurricane belt, you want to be just off the coast of South America in places such as Trinidad, Tobago, Aruba, Bonaires, or Curaçao. It's due to hurricane season that my plan calls for departing Miami in December, being in Trinidad by June, and Aruba by July. After Aruba, the next date I will need to meet is Panama by November to get ready to transit the canal. This graphic from Wikipedia shows the track of all hurricanes since 1851 in the Caribbean. You can see that off the coast of South America, it's not impossible to get hit by a hurricane, but I'm willing to take my chances on something that happens less than once every 50 years. I realize the graphic is probably pretty small on your screen, so I'll put a link in the description if you want to go and check it out on Wikipedia. To recap, depart Miami in December, Aruba by July, Panama by November, and be in the Pacific side of Panama by December. Miami to Aruba over the route I've selected is about 2,350 nautical miles, requiring around 60 days of sailing if you island hop and keep travel days to around 30 nautical miles per day. This is not counting the three overnight sails required for this route. Um, if you're trying to average around 30 nautical miles per travel day, this means you'll need to move the boat every three to four days to stay on schedule. Naturally, you could move the boat in shorter hops, but more frequently, or do longer moves and move less frequently. In real life, I'll probably end up doing some of both. I'll put links in the description to the resources used in making this video, but to talk a few, uh, OpenCPN, is a chart plotting and navigational software for you could use it underway or as a planning tool and it can import tons of free charts and I'd highly recommend anyone give it a test drive. The satellite images in this video are all from Google Earth and if you're looking for an expert's opinion on similar routes check out the book The Gentleman's Guide to the Passage South which is available on Amazon and it's not an affiliate link. So I need to say it or I know I'm going to hear it in the comments. This route is not with the prevailing winds. A link to a tool for reviewing prevailing winds is in the description. My plan is to pick favorable weather windows, to use daily variations created by land masses, heating and cooling, and simply to motor when necessary if there's not the right wind. Depending on how the year progresses and how far I end up behind schedule, taking a shortcut to Aruba is feasible. From the Dominican Republic on, a straight shot to Aruba across the Caribbean Sea is less than a week's sail. The distance from a few points to Aruba is shown on the slide. One perk of doing this is the prevailing winds will be somewhere between a beam reach and a dead run, depending on the starting point for the shortcut. 
there are some important considerations I did not review when creating this route. Where you need to check into and out of a country's customs office has not been considered and will have a big impact on the final route. Additionally, the political situation in each country was not reviewed. Before undertaking this voyage, I think it would be a good idea to check if some country isn't a big fan of the one you're a citizen of. I also glossed over a lot of safety concerns. I didn't check if any instances of piracy were reported along the route. I also used free charts and Google Earth satellite images to plan the route. I guarantee I have the route somewhere or other going through something that would make it for a very bad sailing day. Also on the topic of safety, I did not check the crime rate on any of the islands along the route. Prior to departure, I feel this is something that needs to happen. Not necessarily to reroute, but to decide when extra security measures would be worth the extra effort. Aside from safety, reprovisioning was also not taken into consideration. Making a list of places along the route with the least expensive food and boat repair facilities would be a good addition to the plan. Thank you for coming along for my first year's cruising plan. I'm quite interested to hear your feedback in the comments. Constructive criticism is appreciated, so if you didn't like something, please be specific so I can address it. If you did enjoy the video, uh, I hope to have part two or year two coming out shortly, maybe a week or two. As always, like, subscribe, and thank you for watching. I finished my thoughts on the route a little early, so I'm going to leave you with the plan overview slide and let Google Earth's route tour finish the final 30 seconds of the trip to Aruba. Thanks again for watching.